Hi guys, Me Soul here at Me Soul Making It. Welcome to my kitchen, and today we're cooking country style bread. You see here, I have two packages of bread. This first package I paid three dollars and sixty-eight cents for. They were a dollar and ninety-eight cents a pound, and for this package I paid four dollars exactly. So I've got my entree, which is enough to feed about four people for seven dollars and thirty-eight cents. Look at these, how meaty they are. These were frozen and they're partially thawed now, so I can go ahead and begin to work with them. These guys, look how thick they are. You've got a lot of meat here, a lot of bang for your buck. I'm going to go ahead and start washing these, rinsing them. And this will also give them an opportunity to finish sawing. Yeah, you just want to move them around in the water and just agitate them. Rinse them. We got a few sides. So I have rinsed these and I'm just going to go ahead and let them sit in some water and vinegar for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then I'll get them out and get ready to get my seasonings down on them after I have dried them off. So here I have my seasoning. I have ready ready sauce, onion powder, lemon pepper seasoning. Here I have red pepper flakes. I'm going to use just a little of them. And I have the Goya Adobo all purple seasoning. And I have my black pepper. Let's go ahead and start seasoning our ribs. So we're going to just get some granulated garlic down over these ribs, about a teaspoon. Next, goes on our onion powder, and so we're just going to put this on about the same amount. I'm eyeballing it, but it's about a teaspoon. We have our lemon pepper seasoning, and we're going to put about a teaspoon on our ribs. Next, we have our red pepper flakes. We won't be using a teaspoon of this guy. Not for my taste. Maybe, maybe a half a teaspoon here. But now you adjust it to how you like it. You know how hot, how spicy you like yours. My adobo all-purpose seasoning. Gonna put in a teaspoon of that. Love this adobo. Now I have my black pepper, and I'm going to put in uh, the black pepper, I'm going to put in about a teaspoon. Now if you want less, you put in less than yours. Now, let me get in and start just mixing it through. First I want to put in some just a regular table salt, but remember the lemon pepper and the double had salt in it. So here I'm putting in about two teaspoons of salt. So I'm using my hands just to rub this in, just to work all of these pieces into the ribs, making sure that everything, every part gets covered. So you see this water here? Let me pour this off. We don't need that water. I thought I had them dry. Okay. Back to the mixing and the rubbing. I'm just using my hand to get all this seasoning rubbed in. I'm trying to get every part. During this process, if you think yours needs a little more seasoning, this is the time to do it. Okay. Let me get my 
fish here. This is a 9 by 13 glass fish. And I don't have any oil because this, this meat will make its own oil and juice. So I'm getting my ribs down in here. The, um, this, you know, one thing I wanted to tell you about these guys, these are called country style ribs. And they are just as good as regular ribs. And they're a lot cheaper. It'll go further too because there's more meat on them. They're usually always very meaty, very juicy. And you won't regret cooking them. When me and Big Daddy first got married, this is his favorite dish for me to cook. Just gonna make room in here and, and slide this guy in. Looking for a cloud for the meat in here. This one is into the oven, and these pieces will shrink from. So we don't be fine to cloud them in. Let me get this last. You know, a piece of, get a piece of spice, you know, gotta get it in. I have preheated my oven, it's at 350 degrees. So now I'm gonna get my rim into the oven and let them cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make some sauce because I've decided that I want to put sauce on these ribs. So here in this bowl, I've already started. I have um, put in some peanut sauce. I put in the remainder of some ketchup, about three tablespoons, and I, I have um, some hoisin sauce here. In the bowl, I already had some orange marmalade, and this you see, I'm putting in about two tablespoons of the hoisin sauce. Yeah, going back in on this lid and trying to get a little bit of poison off that lid, because that's just what I do. So I'm just making this up. This is, you know, no real recipe. It's just something I'm making up today. And I'm using just what I have. Um, I just put everything in that I think tastes good. And you can do that too before you put it in. Taste it so that you can see if these flavors complement each other. I was finishing up this bottle of ketchup. It was almost empty, about three tablespoons of it. I just mixed a little water in it. Used it. I used this peanut sauce because I want to get rid of it. And the hoisin, you see, is new, and I just opened it today. And I know those flavors go well together, so I just mix this up. It's, it's going to be sweet. It's going to be sort of sticky. It's going to be really, really good. Something my family is going to adore. Each one of these things that I put in, it has a little, little bit of sweetness. I just taste it there. Yeah, it's sweet. Because the ketchup has sugar, the peanut sauce has sugar, and of course the hoisin sauce has sugar. So this is going to be sweet and you won't regret that you made this. This is going to be so good and uniquely tasty. Let's go ahead and check that meat and get ready to get the sauce down on our meat. So I have gotten out these ribs, guys. They are fully cooked. Don't they look good? Do you see what I mean by meat? I have an aluminum pan here because since I decided to go ahead and put some sauce down on them, I know that I don't want to be stuck with clean and sticky fish. So what I can do when we finish this, I can just fold this joker up and throw them right in the trash can. So I'm getting my ribs out of the glass dish and I'm getting this, this meat down into this aluminum pan. Don't have to put them in any special way. Let me get my sauce. Okay, here we go. It's set, so it sells a little bit. Let me stir it around just in case. And I'm going to just pour this down on the meat, making sure, doing my best to get sauce on every little piece. Because everybody will want some of this sauce on their ribs. Okay, freight, freight, freight. You know, I'm trying to get, I, what's not want now? I'm trying to get every little part out. So I'm just going to spoon up some of the um, sauce and put it over any little place on the meat that I think didn't get enough. Just going to spoon that up. Mm. Oh, the meat is done. It's so tender. Mm. Smells good. Guys, I wish you could smell this, but you can. Do it in your own kitchen. You'll see how this smells. Ah, oh, it's so good. Let me get some foil. Because I'm going to cover this guy. Well, actually, this is a lid that came with this pan. I'm going to cover this guy and get it right into the oven. Won't have to cook long this time because it's already done. Just want to let it heat together. 
I'm just cutting it out. It was in the oven about 15 minutes. Let's open it up and see what the fries we have inside. Is it going to be good? Oh, look at that. Is that ever good? My goodness. How shiny. I can just... Oh, it smells so good. Let's get it plated up and see what you think. Okay, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Can you tell just by looking at it that it's sticky and it's sweet and it's so, so good. Oh, my family's going to love me for serving this today. Your family will love you, too, for putting this on the table. It's not your run-of-the-mill barbecue. It's not your run-of-the-mill rib. This is so good. Guys, thank you for coming by my channel. I know that you knew I'd be throwing down today and cooking something absolutely wonderful. Come back.